Hi everyone, I have another video for you. This one is just gonna be a simple adding fractions video. So I've got my two fractions here, two thirds plus one half. And as you can see, they do not have common denominators. They, the bottom number is not alike. So I need to fix that and change each of these fractions um, so that they have a common denominator, and that's my first step. So I need to find a number that both 3 and 2 can go into evenly. So for these particular fractions, that number is going to be 6. Now in order to find this common denominator, or to find my equivalent fractions that go with these um, common denominators, what I'm going to do is multiply the top and the bottom of each fraction by the same number. Um, and you have to use the same number in order for this uh, fraction over here to be equivalent. So 3 times what would give me 6? Well, that's going to be 2. So that means I have to multiply the top times 2 as well. So 2 times 2 is 4. So this is my new fraction, 4, 6. Over here, I'm going to do the same thing. Um, 2 times what is going to give me 6. That's 3. So I'm going to do the same thing on the top as well. 1 times 3 is 3. So 1 half is equivalent to 3, 6. I'm just going to rewrite those fractions down here for my second step. So now I've, instead of 2 thirds plus 1 half, I've got 4, 6 plus 3, 6. So for my second step, I just need to simply add the top numbers, the numerators, and then I keep the bottom number, the denominator. So 4 plus 3, that equals 7, and then I keep my denominator, which is 6. And then for this particular fraction, I do need to simplify that, and that's our third step. So down here, I take 7, 6, and figure out and change that into a mixed number. So 7 over 6. In order to change this into a mixed number, I have to tell, ask myself, how many times can 6 go into 7? Well, it can go in one whole time, but then there's going to be some leftover. So there's going to be 1 leftover. So that leaves me with my 1 6 leftover. Okay, so let me show you how and why we do it this way, why we have to find common denominators when we're adding fractions and subtracting fractions as well. It's the same, same steps. So let's go back to our, my original problem. Let me show you with my fraction pieces. I've got 1 third, 2 thirds, plus 1 half. So if I try to add these pieces all together, as you can see, there's no way for me to use these sizes, this size of pieces and put them together. So I have to change all of these fractions into pieces that I can work with. So for this particular problem, I need sixths. Uh, for my two thirds, as I showed you before on paper, two thirds is equal to four sixths. So there's my four six, they fit on there perfectly. And then for my half, that's equal to three six. Because if you have three out of six pieces, that's half of it. Okay, so now that I have all of my fractions in six, now I can add them together. And as you can see, if you count them all up, I have seven six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So when I add all of those up, just like I did in this portion right here, um, I would need to change those pieces and figure out how many holes I can make out of these six. Well, I know that six six is going to make one hole, and then I'm going to have that extra, that seventh sixth, that's going to be an extra piece. So that's how we arrived at one hole and one six. So I hope this helps to clear up any anything about adi adding fractions with unlike denominators. Like I said, it's the same with subtraction as well, except when you get to the second step, you would just subtract the top numbers um, rather than adding them. And please check out my uh, site as well, mytutoringbee.com, because I have uh, all of these infographics and some other uh, helpful tips on how to convert fractions and find equivalent fractions and all that good stuff too. Thanks so much.